Reading the Qur'an can be done in three ways. First, reciting with a loud voice, reciting silently, or reading with your eyes or heart. In this lesson, we'll discuss how each of these types is done, their conditions, what they are used for, and what to avoid in each of them. Let's start with the first type, reciting the Qur'an with a loud voice. This is also called Al-Qira'atul Al-Jahriya. This is the most common action for Qur'an reciters. And it refers to reciting the Qur'an with tajweed, using your full voice and makharij to produce every letter as it is supposed to be. So if there is someone sitting around you, they should be able to hear you. So the conditions for performing this correctly are using audible voice, so there is vocalization, having the correct intention, as we've discussed before in this lesson, following the sunnah, including reciting with tajweed. To know the minimum requirements for tajweed, check out this lesson if you're not sure about it. So for this type of recitation, you are, insha'Allah, rewarded for each letter 10 hasanat, as told by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his famous hadith. But there's something else to pay attention to besides having the correct intention and using tajweed, which is the settings where you use this type of recitation. Obviously, we use it when generally reciting, be that alone to other people or in a loud prayer as imam. But most importantly, if you are in a masjid and there are people praying or also reciting, then you may recite, but not loud enough that it disturbs those around you while praying or reciting the Qur'an. Next is the opposite of this type of recitation, the third one, which is reading with your eyes only. And it means to only look at the ayat or remember them, and then reading them with your eyes or in your heart, without any voice or movement from your mouth whatsoever, just eye movement or within yourself. That's why this type of reading cannot be called recitation. This is because if your tongue and lips are not moving, it cannot be considered recitation. So you won't get the same reward as that of recitation. Still, if you read the Qur'an like this or think about it, you're surely rewarded, insha'Allah, but not the same reward. The best use of this type of reading is pondering over the Qur'an. It is very suitable for reading the ayat and their tafsir to learn more about what they mean. But what you cannot use it for is in silent prayer, like for example, a dhuhr prayer. Praying like this in your heart or reading the ayat in your mind without moving your tongue or lips is not correct. And if prayer is done like this, it would be invalid. So, how can you properly perform recitation silently in silent prayers then? Well, that takes us to the second type of reading, which is silent recitation. And defining what exactly silent recitation is, is very important, since it is a type of recitation that we use in at least four prayers every day. As we have already pointed out, all scholars unanimously agree that silent recitation is not muted or silent reading with your eyes or within yourself. And so, for a recitation in prayer to be a valid recitation, the scholars have set a basic requirement, which is the movement of tongue and lips. And the reason is that the Sahaba used to see the beard of the Prophet, peace be upon him, moving in silent prayers, indicating that he was using his mouth during silent prayers. However, what the scholars don't agree upon is whether there should be voice or not. So in other words, what is the maximum sound for a silent recitation? Many scholars, including Imam Malik and Ibn Taymiyyah, See that moving your tongue and lips alone is enough without having to make any sound. So you are essentially reciting without making any noise whatsoever. So no voice. Only using your tongue and lips, making all the movements of maharij, but without vocalization. And it looks and sounds like this. However, other scholars including the other three madhahib, 
C for silent recitation to be valid, besides moving your tongue and lips, you have to recite in whisper to a point that you can hear yourself, but not louder that it disturbs others praying next to you. So you will essentially be whispering while reciting, which is speaking but without vocalization, so that only you can hear yourself. And that is the maximum. And this recitation looks and sounds like this. And now is the question, which of these two should you follow? Well, as we explained, they are both considerable opinions of imams. So getting the minimum requirement should be fine, inshallah. But since it is such an important matter, I would personally take precaution and go with the second option, which is reciting in whisper so that you only can hear yourself, just to be sure. And that is the more common choice of scholars anyway. And this does not only apply to Qur'an recitation in prayer, but essentially anything that you say in prayer. So from takbir, tasbih, at tashahud and even taslim, everything you say basically within prayer, as long as you're not the imam, of course. But wait a minute, what about tajweed? What about baad, ghayn? And these letters, if we're only moving lips or speaking very softly and quietly at the most, well, in this case, you should try to produce the sounds within the limits we just mentioned. But you are not supposed to fully use your voice, since this would be producing noise, and that is the opposite of silent recitation, as we pointed out. So, it should not be done in silent prayer. So, recite silently within the limits given. So, all in all, for silent recitations, there are three conditions. You must make mouth movements for the ayat, that is the bare minimum. And you should recite very quietly that only you can hear. And use tajweed within the given limits. The exception for these conditions would be if someone is a mute, so they cannot speak. Then they are allowed to pray silently without moving their tongue or lips, because this is how they speak anyway. So moving tongue and lips in this case would be pointless. So only in this case, reading in your heart would be considered recitation insha'Allah. So in a nutshell, I reading makes no sound and cannot be used in prayer. Silent recitation has the minimum of no voice with mouth movement and the maximum that only you can hear. If it exceeds that, then it is no longer silent recitation and cannot be used in silent prayer. So anything that is audible is loud recitation. Thanks for watching. If you want to start reading and understanding the Quran in Arabic, then you should start your journey right here. And don't forget to check out my latest book, which goes perfectly with this free course. I'll leave the links for all of them in the description, so check them out. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.